Oh dear. Oh dear. No, no, no. Uh, miss. Yeah, miss. This is. Uh, no. Um. Uh, hey guys. <laughs> Welcome to the video. So we are going to be doing a try not to laugh down with my sister. Sprinkles. Sprinkles. Yeah. You, you need to talk really loud because a there's a thing over there and b you just really need to talk loud. All right. Okay. So whoever laughs. Gets this in. I'm gonna die in this challenge. Yeah, uh, they get they get a hose. So um, yeah. Oh boy, here we go. Let me just uh. All right. We ready? I'm gonna stand back a little bit and increase the power. I'm hoping that at least the capacitors are not charged anymore. Let's try them out. Okay, let me show you how well it works. First, without the anti-pair. The skin here is quite sensitive to temperature and you can tell the temperature quite accurately. It's almost finished now. Just. No, uh, let's resume the video. Holy heck, dude! I am gonna get really wet when I laugh. You're gonna get the lamb. Oh God. Yeah, another piece of wire. <laughs> oh sh! What did I do? What the f did you do? I'm fine, thanks. Idiot. What? I can't even play music from it. And you can see a tiny negative sign beside it. That means that that side needs to be connected to ground or negative. Uh, no! No, not, no, 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 not yet, not yet. tiny negative sign beside it that means that that side needs to be connected to ground or negative uh, yeah. the first thing you need to do is to remove the broken ball and take the screw part out. My finger. Good thing the breaker opened. Now it's time to put the new bulb in. Oh, that was bad. There you go. 
Let's resume. Just screw it nice and tight and it'll turn on. Start turning on. I broke the ball. Well, the lamp is already out, so always use a tool to get the screw board out. Unplug! Damn it! Unplug! Let me show you what I mean by this oscillation. If I put the bullet inside the coil and try to turn it on with my power supply here. Well, it's always safer not to work with live loose wire. So instead I'm using these alligator clips here. I put the bullet in and turn the power supply on so you can see what's going on. Don't do it. There you go. You saw what happened. Oh. This power supply can generate 20 volts, 100 Well, you see when I short it, the voltage goes almost to Although this power supply can generate huge amounts of current, it can send it through my body because it's only set to 20 volts. I can't even feel it on my fingers. I like to put it on my tongue, but before that, I have to reduce the voltage to something like 1 volt because, you know, the resistance of the tongue is much smaller than the skin. And still, if I short the power supply, I get the same 150 amps. Okay. You can see it still sparks. Let's try it out. Go! What the f I thought I set it to 1 volt. Here's the power supply at 4 volts and I'm going to connect this. We both laughed. That stinks. <laughs> I'm getting it first, then she's getting it second. Okay, ready? No! 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 Ready? No! You guys, yeah. you guys better thank no us. Kidding, Curtis. Thin wire to it, and you can see how the wire melts and burns under. <laughs> hmm, makes you want to join the dark side. <laughs> Get it? It's a line from Star Trek. Okay, now let's. <laughs> Always be aware of your surroundings. The tip of the gun here simulates a human finger. <laughs> Always be careful with your tools. Because now the board is charged to the same level as the gun and it doesn't jump anymore. But right now I'm touching the wires and I can't even feel it because the voltage is not high enough. No, I'm not Steve. Wrong number. It's a simple device. It's a belt that you tie around your belly with a tiny device that senses your motion. As long as you move, you're okay. But if you stop for any reason, it'll zap you like a mother. You will move no matter what, or else you will feel the pain. <laughs> The device may often false trigger. The belt is very. <laughs> you laughed. That's the rules. You ready for an epic moment?
second video or not really? This is very simple. It runs on two AA or triple A batteries and has two electrodes on the bottom and turns on with a switch. Now if you don't move, it says Unless I do it with my finger. With this revolutionary device, with the flick of a switch, you're ready to What the first thing some pieces and small and large screws that go in the camera. So always remember what those were and store them nicely to avoid losing them. Now let's take a look at the camera again. And you can see the lens here and if I remove the lens you'll see the giant flash capacitor back here. Ow! F piece of shit. Apparently the flash capacitor is holding around 300 volts of charge in it and it can hurt a lot if you touch it. Try to turn it on and retrieve all the data. Me neither! Yeah! Oh, I don't know why I did that. I